So welcome everybody to our second example looking at absolute and conditional convergence. So here again we're given a series and we're asked whether this series will converge absolutely, conditionally, or whether the series will diverge. Now, in looking at the terms, we see the sine of 7n, which we know sine is going to oscillate between positive values and negative values, and so some of our terms in this series are going to be positive, some of them may be negative. So we know, at least at the, at the very least, we do not have all positive terms. And so it does make sense to actually, in this case, look at the absolute value of the terms to then see how the series will behave. So we'll start by looking at condition or looking at absolute convergence by taking the absolute value of the terms of our series. Well, since n to the fifth is always going to be positive, whenever n is positive, we're really just taking the absolute value of the sign. Now, one thing that we happen to know about sine is that it's going to be bounded. We know that we always are going to have the absolute value of the sine of x less than or equal to 1. And so in this case, what we have is that if we have the absolute value of the sine of 7n is less than or equal to 1, then if we divide both sides by n to the fifth, then what we have is that the terms of our series are actually bounded by a p-series where the terms of a p-series with p equal to 5. And so kind of a hint with that, it begins to look like we are set to use the comparison test. So as a reminder of what the comparison test says, that if we have an unknown a series of unknown behavior. So we have a series a sub n that we don't know whether this thing is actually going to converge or diverge. So in this case, our behavior is unknown. But we are able to compare that to a series with terms b sub n, and the behavior of this series is known. In this case, we know that um, the series that we are looking at as a candidate, our series, n equals 1 up to infinity of 1 over n to the fifth, this one is a convergent p-series with p equal to 5. Remember that for p-series, all we need is for p to be greater than 1 so that the series will converge. And so our b sub n's do have known behavior. In that case, when we have a series where the terms of our known series, so the series where we have a known behavior, are actually larger than the terms of our unknown series, then in that case, if our b sub n's converge, so if our known series converges, then our series a sub n will also converge. Well, that is exactly what we have in our case, that we have the absolute value of the sine of 7n over n to the fifth is going to be smaller than 1 over n to the fifth. And so our comparison test then tells us that our series sine of 7n over n to the fifth for n going from 1 up to infinity converges. And so what that tells us now about our original series, so because the terms of the absolute value of our unknown series converges, so the absolute value of the terms converge, therefore the series converges. So our series, n goes from 1 up to infinity of the sine of 7n over n to the fifth converges absolutely. 
And so this has been our second example of determining when a series is going to converge absolutely or conditionally. And so I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.